searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. Good morning, Tri-State. I'm Tamika Artis. Here are the big stories we're following for you this morning here at WCPO 9 News. Developing right now, St. Xavier High School has sent a letter home to parents and alumni alerting them that a retired priest has been accused of psychological sexual abuse. The school says an investigation has just concluded putting Father Ed Pickett's name on a list of Jesuit priests with established allegations against them, meaning there is a reasonable certainty that the accusation is true. Father Piggott allegedly committed psychological sexual abuse between 1992 and 1994. We want to be clear that he is not charged with a crime at this time. He did serve the St. Xavier community from 1969 until 2018. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir has signed a bill into law that will put more guns in the hands of Kentucky school officers. The law requires that any officer assigned to any school across the state be armed. Senate Bill 8 is a follow-up to last year's school safety law that passed after a deadly shooting at a high school in western Kentucky in 2018 where two students were killed and more than a dozen others were hurt. Well, the next time you're in downtown Cincinnati, be sure to look up. You might actually see your favorite business owner or even your child's crossing guard space on a display. Two local women recently partnered with the city's Office of Human Relations to develop a Black History Month campaign. Pictures of successful black Cincinnatians can be seen on buses, banners, and yes, even city signs. The campaign is called Black is Excellence. For more breaking news, weather, and sports, tune into Good Morning Tri-State or log on to WCPO.com. Thanks for watching.